I want to talk on five P's. Number one, proper preparation, prevent poor performance. These five P's are very, very important and they are pillars for preparing for any exam. If you want to have a good result, you must ensure that these five P's are your pillars or are your ingredients. Proper preparation prevent poor performance. Before you sit for any particular exam, you must envisage. You must be able to picture what you want to get at the end of that examination. So if you can just cast your mind back, if your mind can just travel back and uh, just imagine the result, that alone can prepare you. That alone can increase your activation energy to want to do more because of the target goal, because of the result you set, because of the goal you have for that particular exam. The purpose of exam is not to fail anybody, but just to test whether some information, whether you, you have been able to master some processes, whether you have been able to understand a particular concept. The purpose of examination is not to fail anybody. But unfortunately, students engage in various forms of examination and practices. It's supposed not to be. So, if you are watching this video and you are getting set, getting prepared for examination, I just want to advise you that you prepare very well. And how can you prepare? Number one, since the exam is very close, get your past questions. This same examination you want to write or you want to sit for, the examination body has been doing this kind of examination for many years. And definitely, the, the syllabus has not changed yet. Or even if there is changes, it's just a little, you know, slight changes. So definitely, the question you are going to come across, the question you are going to come across are those ones that have been done by the previous set. And by the time you treat past questions, number one, it accelerates your movement, the, the rate at which you read, and it also confirms whether you've understood some basic concepts. So I will advise you to work with your um, past questions. Secondly, how do you prepare? Please eat very well. Eat good food. Most importantly, eat food that contains fat. You need it when you are reading because you burn more energy while you are reading. I'm not saying you should eat it before you read, if that will not be okay by you. But try as much as possible to study yourself. Study what works better study what works for you and lastly the time of assimilation for individual is different is different some people can assimilate early hour of the day some people can assimilate very late in the night some people is during the day so just know what works better for you and then abide by it and i pray as you said for this exam